side counters. To start off with this recipe here, we're going to be making a sandwich and we're going to be using bell pepper as our base, basically a bell pepper sandwich. Uh, so we started off with our uh, bell pepper. We're going to cut it up and take out the membrane insides of it, um, as well as chop up a uh, jalapeno. So we took our bell pepper and cut it right along one of the segments here. Um, I should have cut it along lengthwise along one of the segments, like basically in between both of those, so where we, it can balance better. And I'll show you why later. But um, cut up the bell pepper, cleaned out the insides, and sliced up our jalapeno. Now we have some cream cheese here. Uh, make sure your cream cheese is softened. I mean, if it's not softened, it, it still works, but it, it can help with spreading the cream cheese across the insides of the bell pepper um, and not break or crack the uh, bell pepper. And we're now we are seasoning up with some of our cooking with the town to everything bagel seasoning as well as some of our spicy seasoning. Um, here is a everything bagel seasoning along with the ingredient listings of that as well as the spicy seasoning. If you'd like to purchase any of our seasonings, uh, the link for the is in the description box below the video. But uh, seasoned up our uh, cream cheese, and now we're going to start making our sandwich. Uh, we stuffed a handful of sliced turkey and ham into one of the sides of our bell pepper. And we also fried up some bacon, put in two slices of bacon on there. On our right side, we went ahead and took a slice of cheese, folded in half, and placed it inside the bell pepper along with a handful of baby spinach. Basically just smashing in as best as we can to help... Uh, place all of the toppings on there. If you don't have that many toppings, you don't have to worry about that, but we're pretty much loading this thing up. Uh, next, we have our homies, the jalapeno, and we're placing that on top of that along with some Roma tomato slices. Uh, now, we top that off with some mustard as well as some sriracha. Uh, feel free again, you know, to make the sandwich how you want, whatever type of sandwich you like. Go ahead and use those toppings. You do not have to follow this to a T. It's just a guideline to show you different options and things to eat, as I always say. Now is the hard part of us trying to basically uh, close the sandwich up. At this point now, it looks like a very nice open face sandwich. On the left, meat open face sandwich. And on the right, a veggie open face sandwich. But now we're trying to close this thing up. And this is the hard part. Like I said, when I cut it, I cut it right, uh, right along one of the segments when I should have placed it flat and balanced it first and then cut it lengthwise. So that way I know how it would sit. Because at this point, once I put it together and try to put it down, uh, it basically leans and falls over to its side, which is perfectly fine. But, you know, just for, for presentation purposes and showing you guys what uh, a sandwich will look like, it kind of just keeps falling apart and hard to stay together. Uh, but this is a sandwich. Once we close it up, it look very nice right here. It's just a nice, bright, colorful sandwich, like a little big hand grenade of meat. <laughs> but um, once we place the sandwich there, now we are um, going to try to slice it up. And again, we're balancing it. Um, took the knife and cut it uh, on the diagonal. And I normally I don't like cutting my sandwiches in half, but this is one of the times where cutting it uh, definitely helps because uh, if not, once you cut or just bit into the sandwich, it's kind of like cut, biting into an apple with just filled and stuffed. Everything will pretty much start falling out. You'll kind of be balancing it and trying to eat it and make sure the stuff doesn't fall out. So Cutting in half definitely helps with this type of sandwich, so I don't mind doing it <laughs> now. Uh, so here's our sandwich, um, cut open, balancing it on the plate, and you can see basically everything inside of it, the cream cheese, the toppings, the meat, jalapenos, spinach, cheese, tomato, um, everything listed here. So we're going to go in for a quick taste test for you guys. All right, Towners, here is our final product. Hopefully you guys can see it. Um, so like I said earlier, if you guys do it, just make sure that when you cut it in half, cause I just try to cut it in half along one of the, the ridges in the middle of the bell pepper, make sure you find where the flat bottom is in between those ridges. So that way, when you cut it in half, it will be able to lay flat. That's the, that's the main problem that I'm having is that I can't position it right. I mean, but it doesn't matter. It's just for me just to take a picture for it or anything, but, um, I can't get it to lay flat. And it's basically, I'm having to like have them like lean them up against themselves to stay together. But that's just for presentation purposes. Actually, you know, you don't even really have to do that. <laughs> but let's go on for a taste test. We got the, uh, you can see everything in here, the cream cheese, the everything bagel seasoning, meat, veggies. Let's go.
Get that nice crisp from the bell pepper freshness. Get that, uh, you can taste everything. The cream cheese, meat, bacon. It's a nice sandwich. I mean, it's different. I never had anything like this before, so it's just trying to figure out what to expect from it, but I like it. It's different using a bell pepper as opposed to a wrap or lettuce wrap or keto bread or anything like that. I'll definitely try this again. My top bun fell off. Now it's kind of like an open face sandwich for this one. But yeah, I'll definitely try this again. Um, I think I also saw one with the uh, tomato. Tomato slices of bread, the huge like beefsteak tomato. So I guess we'll try that one next. But I like it. Those other bell peppers will be used for something like this. Maybe hamburger or something. But it's still ever have. Ah. Enjoy guys. Try it out. It's a little sloppy, but I like it my hands dirty. All right, guys, that was our taste test. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this recipe for our bell pepper sandwich. If you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to hit us up in the comment section below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Enjoy. Enjoy. And please subscribe. Enjoy. Hey, Towners. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. All ingredients and directions are listed in the description box below each video. And as always, thank you guys for watching.